Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how to use toggle bolts, or molly bolts as some people call them. Toggle bolts are best used when you have to hang something on drywall and when you can't hit a stud with your screws or your hangers due to either spacing or size. So let me show you how to use them and how they work. Okay, I've just made up like a little uh, test wall here with some half inch drywall on it so that I can show you how the toggle bolts work from the front side and the back side. They come in sets. You got a screw and a toggle. So that screws onto the screw this way. To some folks it seems a little backwards, um, but that's how it goes on like that. You always want to make sure that you screw them on far enough to where there's three or four threads exposed beyond the toggle like this. And I'll show you why in a minute. So you drill your hole in your drywall and you push it through. And then on the back side, it pops open, pulls up against the back of the drywall, and then you can secure your item on the front side. The reason you want to make sure that you've got some threads exposed on this side is sometimes what folks will want to do is screw it to where they're just threaded up. It's, it's threaded up fine inside. It's two or three threads past the, the threaded portion in the middle, but when you go to push it through the drywall, if you get it uh, crooked just a little bit, one side will pop open before the other. And then if you push it on through, and now you can't get that toggle to bite on the back side of the drywall. If you thread it up, so there's a few threads exposed outside the toggle, when that happens, you push it through, you get a little crooked, it pops open, you continue to push through, the other side will pop open, then it will still bite. So you don't have a you don't have a problem with making the toggle operate on the back side of the drywall. So anyway, that's tip number one. Toggle bolts come in different sizes, uh, 3 16 by 3, quarter inch by 3. The first number is the size of the toggle bolt. And most, not all of them, but a lot of toggle bolts will have it printed right here. It's kind of the basic width of the toggle, but not really. <laughs> so... I'm not real sure how they size these things because nothing you measure on here is, is an eighth of an inch. But anyway, that's what size they go by. The second number, the like for example, this one is eighth inch by two. This one is eighth inch by three. The second number is the length of the screw, whether it's two inches or three inches or whatever. They come in all different sizes. You want to make sure that the screw is long enough to not only account for the toggle, when it's compressed, you've got to allow for that much room, but you've also got to allow for the thickness of the drywall and for the thickness of whatever it is you're hanging. So if you're running this screw through something that's an inch thick and you have half inch drywall, which is common um, on most walls in the US, and then this takes another inch, then you're going to need to at least have a two and a half inch screw. The, the size of the toggle determines how much weight it can carry. Basically, an eighth inch toggle can handle about 200 pounds in tension and a little more than that in shear. Shear is like directly down the wall or up the wall and tension is pulling away from the wall. So an eighth inch toggle can handle about 200 pounds of tension. A 3 16 can do about 250 pounds and a quarter inch toggle can do about 300 pounds. Um, all right, next tip. On most toggle bolts available in the US, there will be uh, some information either on the front or on the side to tell you what size drill bit you need. For eighth inch toggles, you need to drill a three eighths hole. Three sixteenths toggles, you need to drill a five eighths hole. And for quarter inch toggles, you need to drill a three quarter hole. Now, if you have a stud finder, before you go hanging something on the, on the wall, um, take your stud finder and use it to find the studs. If you can line up the heavy thing that you're hanging onto a stud, that's even better because that's going to be more secure. You don't have to drill such a big hole in your drywall and you can mount your hangers directly into studs. Studs uh, in the U.S. are typically spaced every 16 inches. So um, when you find the center of one, 16 inches over most of the time, you'll find the center of another one. If you don't have a stud finder, uh, what I recommend doing is take your drill and get a real small diameter bit, like a 16th inch bit, something like that and drill a test hole. So say I want my hanger to be right here. I'm going to drill a test hole right here. If, if I drill through the sheetrock 
and I hit a stud, I'm going to have some resistance, you know, about a half inch in once I get all the way through the sheetrock or the drywall. If there's nothing back there and it's at the hollow portion of the wall, then once I drill about a half inch in, I'm going to feel no resistance and my, my drill is going to go ahead and sink in. So this, I'm not going to hit a stud here, so I'll show you how that works. I get no resistance at all, you know, past that first half inch. So I know there's not a stud there. My eighth inch toggle bolt package tells me I need a three eighths inch drill bit. So I'm going to take my three eighths bit and I'm going to follow up right where this test hole was and I'm going to drill a three eighths hole. What we're going to do to use the toggles, we're just going to push it in through here. We're going to collapse it, push it through. Sometimes because of the, there's a pin that, that goes through here, the threaded part, and it sticks out, if you can see that, a bit. So sometimes you have to work it through the hole. But here's a trick with toggle bolts. You have to go ahead and put this through whatever you're hanging, because if you don't, once you push it through there, you can't take the screw back out. If you do, the toggle is going to drop down to the bottom of the wall and then you're right back where you started from. All right, so I've just taken a piece of scrap wood and put a couple of holes in it. And this is to signify something that I'm going to hang on the wall. All right. So what I've got to do is I've got to take my, take my toggle bolt apart. I've got to put my screw through there. If the hole's bigger than the head of the screw, then I may have to put a washer on the screw first so that the screw head doesn't pull through. Push that screw through the thing that I'm hanging up. This can get a little bit awkward. Sometimes if you're hanging something real heavy, you know, you need some help because you've got to hold the thing you're hanging while you're pushing these toggles in. So then you thread that on, again, making sure that you've got three or four threads exposed through the top of the toggle. We'll turn around just a little bit so you can see into the where the hole is. So then you're going to take that toggle and compress it stick it in the hole and then you're going to work it through the drywall like like so so now that's in there part of the way i'm going to show you the back side of the wall so you can see what happens on the back so now we're on the back side of the drywall and what i'm doing is i'm just continuing to push it through it'll come through pops open like so and then it then you can pull it back and now it's not going to go anywhere it can't come back through the wall then I'm going to take you back to the front side of the wall. And now what you have to do is tighten it up. So in order to tighten it up, you have to keep some, some outward pressure on the screw. Otherwise, the, um, the toggle will just spin on the back side. So you've got to keep it pulled out. And, you know, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just take a screwdriver. I'll hold whatever I'm attaching away from the wall so I've got some outward force on the screw head. And then I'll use my, my screwdriver to uh, run that screw in. What happens if you don't do that is this. Go back to the back of the wall. If you just push it through and try to tighten it, then the toggle just turns so it won't ever tighten up. I'm gonna be careful not to get my fingers behind it because I don't wanna pinch my finger. Once it starts to give you a little bit of resistance, then you don't have to worry about it. You can, you can level up the thing you're hanging, you can get it exactly the way you want it, and then snug it up just a touch, and it's not going to go anywhere. Thanks for watching my video, folks. I appreciate it. Please check out some of my other videos on my channel. I've got videos for do-it-yourself, home improvement, uh, auto maintenance, lawn equipment maintenance, all sorts of other things. And hopefully some of those will help you out too. And uh, hope to see you back soon. Thanks a lot. God bless you.